Harriet and Leonard Nobleman were the indirect victims of a condo fraud scheme in the greater Dallas area. They bought a one-bedroom condominium in 1984 for about $71,000, and shortly thereafter, its price collapsed to just $23,500. They sought to reduce the amount they owed on their loan to the sunken value of their home, but their lender refused. So they took their case all the way up to the United States Supreme Court. That Supreme Court decision, Nobleman versus American Savings Bank, still stands in the way today of homeowners who want to use the bankruptcy courts to cram down the amount they owe on their mortgage. The most recent financial crisis was just a more severe relapse of the savings and loan debacle of the 1980s. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said to justify the bank bailouts, we weren't intervening to save the institutions, but when the elephant falls down, all the grass gets crushed as well. Today, the elephants are larger than ever and the grass is still crushed. The top six bank holding companies have 37% more assets than they did before the crisis. The recovery has been uneven. For the broad middle class, it depends upon wages for survival and whose wealth is largely tied to their homes. The crisis continues. If things continue as is without additional legislative changes, we will face another more severe financial collapse. But that is not inevitable. We can prevent it again.